There, uh, there's a flaw there. Oh, great. It's you again, Matt. Ow. You know, it's taken me basically ten years, or five seconds, or whatever you want to put it, it's taken me ten years to notice this, but why have you taken the form of Matthew? Why not take the form of David Tennant or someone I actually like? Well, come on, think about it. What you did to Matthew back in 2013 was kind of a dick move. Of course your imagination is going to be me. Your guilt is playing on you. Shh. For goodness sake. I'm trying to think. Watch out. Here comes the paradox. What? That, that doesn't even make any sense because you are my thoughts. Yeah, true. Believe me. You've been bored a very long time and I've seen quite a few nasty things up here. Now seriously, be quiet. Shut your mouth. I've got a new theory. For God's sake, this is the millionth new theory that you've had. Shut up, shut up, shut it up, up, up! Alright, keep your eyebrows on. Oh my God, David, I think I've finally got that. I have finally cracked it. I know what the time storm is. <sighs> You're right, David. The McCammon theory states that there is this entity, this being, that has moulded and shaped real human events throughout human history on planet Earth. I used to think it was just some sort of freak natural disaster in the beginning, but maybe it isn't. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, all of this is actually for a reason. It's no coincidence that me and Matthew ended up in 2020 and 2013, all, of the same, um, all in different events throughout me and Matthew's life, and we both learnt real moral lessons after that. We, le we learned lessons that taught us things. That's no coincidence. I mean, tornadoes, tornadoes, earthquakes, floods, all of those things. They can't tell the difference between ravenous dog or cute puppy. They will kill anything in its path. But the time storm, it picks and chooses. It chooses, it picks, it thinks, it feels, it knows, and if it knows, then it's got a conscience. For God's sake, by the dildo of Rassilon, I almost had it! I almost had a breakthrough, man! What was it? What was it? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, you bastard! All right. Bloody hell, it's someone's time of the month. Only you, in a five-second loop, could still have a time of the month. Get out, Matt! But before I go, I just realised something. Through all of this, all this anger and theories going around in your head, have you even thought about Matthew? Don't know what you mean. All this time, ten years, five seconds, whatever, I bet you've been wondering where he is, right? Well, I guess I am. But, wherever Matthew is, whatever he's doing, can't be any worse than this. Question. What the hell am I looking at? The blinds are closed. Uh, hello, Sir, Lord, Duchess, I mean, um, Colonel.
Where have you been? Hmm? I sent you to go and get food over an hour ago. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, Colonel, but the closest shop just up the road was, uh, was shut and the one after that was, uh, was over an hour, was a walk away. For goodness sake, whose dumb idea was that? Whoever it was, I shall have them hanged. I shall have them beheaded. I shall have them drawn and quartered. Well, it's your fault, sir. You kind of closed the shop. No. Matthew. You have been my right-hand man for over a month now. And you came to this world a stranger and alone. And how do you repay me? With back chat and lateness. Well, uh... Get out. I said, get out. I said, get out. I said, get out. I'm wondering. <laughs> Yes. Hello. But I... I don't want to go back there. Please, don't make me go back. I can't take that place anymore. No, no, I haven't, but... Just listen to me. You're right. No. No, no one is going in that room. Do you understand? There are too many secrets in there. Too many painful memories. I cannot relive them. Room? What room? Matt! I need to ask you something. No. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be a dickhead. Oh, all right, make it quick. I'm trying to make a souffle. What year was the famous eruption of Mount Vesuvius? 79 AD. Ah, why'd you ask? I'm just comparing other natural disasters to the appearances of the time storm, and they are incredibly different. Why are you even doing all of this anyway? Because the doctor told me to. Nah, I don't think so. You aren't even sure if the doctor's voice was even real. You're not even sure if I'm real. Be quiet. No, you're not going to take what a figment of your imagination says to heart. There's something more. Why are you doing this? Shut up. This is guilt, isn't it? Just button it, Matt. Because of what you did to Matthew back in 2013. Just leave me alone now. You want to make it home so you can apologise to him, don't you? Sir, here is your glass of water, specially filtered with our filter that we don't have, but it's been preserved. It's from the tap in the kitchen. Probably worth this thing. Ah. There we go. Good evening, my dear subjects. Now, I have passed a new law that I must all address you on. You must know this and know it well. Now, my dear subjects, I feel like I must still warn you of this law. 
Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, any of these face snap or chat back or whatever must be completely prohibited. Anyone who is found with this must be killed on sight. And now I must tell you of a new law that I have passed with my friends, should I call them. And I believe that this is a very gracious law that I have passed which will benefit both you and me from an atrocious atrocity of atrociousness from the world. This law is that anyone found with the film Garfield the Movie, whether they're lending it from a friend, pirated or downloaded, or at all from any distribution such as Asda, Morrison's, or Amazon, shall be killed! <laughs> this afternoon message and so we now finish as always with the national anthem oh child things are going to get easier oh child things get brighter someday I'll be in the presence of a beautiful sun someday I'll On my way, coming. Coming. <clears throat> I'm sure that Matt, that, ah, ah, oh, there we go. Right, focus. What do you want, Matt? Scared the living deal out of me. I'm the scary one, and yet you're wearing them atrocious glasses. They're my mum's glasses. Right, Mum? Oh, right, yeah, it's a five second universe. She's not here. Shame, mate. Could have quite a good reference. Yeah, could have, yeah. Anyway, what do you want? I thought I was in a mood with you or something. Where'd he go? Oh! Duh! Oh! I do wish you'd stop doing that, Matt. I can't help it. I have a physical advantage. I can appear where I want. <sighs> anyway, could you please leave me alone? What does the vanadium mean? What, what, what is this? It's a screwdriver. A screw... Oh, as Jackson Lake would put it, it's a sonic screwdriver, see? Sonic. Oh, right. What's it do, does it? Please, could you just leave me alone? Hmm? Please, could you just leave me alone? I'm not exactly in the best of moods with you. Well, technically, I can never leave you alone because I'm in your head. So, if we're going to hold a grudge against each other, I think we'd best get over it because, unfortunately for you, I'm in there. 
I can't think who it's worse for, you or me. This thing's not working. Oh my god, they come in different colours as well! That's amazing! Where the hell do you get your stupidity from? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> They've even got different ends as well. This is... Why, why did you not show me these, these a long time ago? Like, I don't know, five seconds ago. Can I get it? Because we've, we've kind of overused that. Yeah. Anyway, could you please just leave me alone in peace? James? James? <laughs> you do realise what you're drinking? Yes, I do. This is not just lemon and lime. It's the sparkling lemon and lime. I know what it is! James, I know what happens to you when you drink sparkling sour things because it goes to your head and I don't want to end up doing backflips up the wall when you drink that. I don't care! Alright? I know what I did was wrong, alright? In 2013. You don't have to keep reminding me of that. You're in my imagination. I thought you would have helped me to drive my head away from that, James. Even though I'm your imagination, the last place I want to be right now is inside your head. But seriously, drinking is not going to solve anything. <sighs> but it helps. Ah! Ah! Oh! James! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's good for you, but oh. anyone who has drank before knows that it goes straight to your head, and I'm your head. So please stop drinking. Oh, God! No. <sighs> You're my head, so if I get drunk, you get drunk. Jack Daniels, I always oh. hated him. Without Smirnoff, I always hated the uh, Germans. Oh. oh, look! The sonic screwdriver is completed! Oh. <coughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yes! That's beautiful! Let's celebrate with more drinks. Let's party! Oh. James, James, you need to remember I'm a figment of your imagination. Imagination. Uh, no touch, no touchy. Oh! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Matt. <laughs> Clean the floors, they're all mopped and they're sparkly clean. <laughs> Is there anything else I can uh, do for you? Matthew, for goodness sake, don't think I'm a bloody slave driver! 
Get yourself off to sleep. I've got something very important for you to do tomorrow. Get yourself off to sleep. Uh, I'm afraid we've only got the bath for you to sleep in for tonight. Uh, but do get yourself a drink and get to bed. As long as it isn't water, mineral water, flavoured water, sparkling water, fizzy water, Coca-Cola, Fanta, uh, none of that Rubicon stuff, uh, Lucasade, Iron Brew, Coke, or anything really that's drinkable. As long as it's none of that, then you can go and get yourself some nice sleep. Go on. Well, bugger off. Uh, well, looks like I'm off to drink the cat's piss for the eighth night running. Good night, sir. Bugger off. Jump in the bath of adventure, Clara. Oh, I hate we're using jokes. Matt! 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 Oh my god, Matt. I I've got it. I've got it. I finally, finally got it. Halle frickin' Louia. I finally cracked it. I've bloody cracked it. I'm a bloody genius. I know what the time storm is. 
thank you. Thank you so much. I still don't know why I'm saying thank you, but my god, earlier when I touched you on the shoulder, I, I, I was shown something. I don't quite know what and why, but honestly, I'm still trying to figure that out, but I was shown a word. I was shown a word, and it has finally clicked what the time storm is. I just... Thank you! What... what word? I don't quite understand myself, man, but I think I finally got it. The word... It's teacher. <laughs> what do you think you are doing trying to get into that room? What's in there, Colonel? What's your big secret? That is none of your business. You are not the one who is meant to be asking questions. I am the one holding the knife here. I heard someone talking. I heard a voice. Who's in there? Like I said, you shouldn't be asking questions. What are you going to do? Hey, dictators, never get the hands dirty. I am tempted to change that! Now, stay away from that room. That is your final warning, Mr. Rowdy! For what's in that room is something that you should never, ever know, and it is something that you will never, ever forget. What's that? The truth, Mr. Rowney. The truth. Now, you've already disturbed my sleep once this evening. I think I'm entitled to a cup of tea, don't you? Yes, sir. Whatever you wish, sir. Mr. Rowley, it is about time that I showed you respect about the rules here. Now, I would no longer like a cup of tea, Mr. Rowney. I would like a glass of stilled water with my tablets. I've not had my medication this evening. Well? Yes, sir, whatever, sir, sir. Schedules. Never should have gave up smoking. Thank you, Mr. Rowney. Now, <laughs> I'm just trying to educate you here, Mr. Rowney, because this is a very respected establishment. And when I say you don't go in somewhere, you don't. It's all about respect, you see. It's all about respect and image. I completely understand, Colonel. I completely understand. It's your roof, your rules, you know. I've, um, I've really grown to respect you as a dictator, actually, now I think about it, you know. Normal dictators, you know, they're all about guns and armies and wars, but you're much more cut back, much more professional. Yeah, you know, normal dictators would have all these armoury, all these weapons. But the one thing I respect the most about you, Colonel, is that you always have a well-stocked supply of drugs. You little bastard! How's that for a good night's sleep, eh, Colonel?
Okay, I saw you die. I'm hoping that you're not really dead. Okay, you're not really dead. But I saw you die. Okay, Amber, Amber, wake up. I need to get you out of here. Do, do you know who I am? Do you remember me at all? Do you know where you are? Because I don't have a freaking clue. I've got a lot of explaining to do, haven't I? I think you have. James, I think you need to go upstairs and have a rest. You're going a little bit insane. The last thing I need is a rest. I have finally blown this thing wide open. You're getting delirious. Just calm down. I think I finally got it. Just need to increase the signal and... <laughs> My god. Tom? James. Nice watch you see you. Who's Tom? What? What? Oh my god. Are you the... The doctor? Yes, I am. Don't know who this Tom is, though. Thought I'd come and surprise you. How are you doing, James? I'm still just an image. No touch. <laughs> You're not gonna say you love me now, are you? No. Good. I had a similar experience like this happen to me before. Funny thing is, people thought I actually cared about her. Turns out, oh, she was really clingy. Oh, right. So have you found out yet? Almost. I've just got to be sure of one more thing. Well, I don't want to say what it was you were doing, so get back to it. There's nothing more important than focusing on what it is <sighs> you were doing. <sighs> well, that was weird. So, where were we before I was rudely interrupted? Well, uh, we were just about to celebrate me saving me and Matthew's lives. And to think, the answer was right in front of me. All this time. What the hell are you talking about? Oh my god! Is that Jenner in your bath of adventure? What? What are you talking about? There is no bath of adventure. Do take this money, okay? Just run, get far away from here, get a taxi, I don't know, just go anywhere, get out of here, okay? Look, I'm finish business to attend. Good luck. Punching his phone, I'm sorry. Listen, James, I know you've been here a long time and you've not had any action in a while, but I'm not into all this Fifty Shades of Grey malarkey. No more cockiness. No more being cheeky, all right? I'm on to you. I know what you are. <sighs> Must we really go through this again? I told you. No. No, 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 no. You are not a figment of my imagination. That much I've worked out. You're anything but. Listen, James, I know you've been stuck here a while and it is very, very boring, and you are probably going a bit insane. Enough! Just drop the whole act. I finally worked it out. <laughs> worked what out? Who you really are. Go on. Use that little brain of yours. If you really were a figment of my imagination, an extension of my own psyche, then you would only know the things that I already know. Clever. How did you work that one out? You slipped up. Just once. And it was all I needed. What year was the famous eruption of Mount Vesuvius? I asked you a question. A question that I didn't have a clue what the answer was. 79 AD. It was a question that anyone could have overlooked. It was just a simple, innocent question. But you slipped up. You told me what the answer was, and you just couldn't resist telling me it. That's why you slipped up. So that proved that you weren't a figment of my imagination. Now I've been walking around here saying that I have cracked it and that I know who you are. That's a bit of my ego coming through, I do apologise. I don't really know who you are, uh, but I have worked out that you're not a figment of my imagination. So how about it, Matt? Tell me. Who are you? 
Oh, James. You know who I am. How, how did you do that? I tied you up. No, you didn't, James. You didn't even have any rope. <coughs> yes, I did. I got it from... I, I lent it from... I got it out of... Oh, my God. I don't know. I mean, come on, James. I knew you were thick. But even I was overestimating you. I don't understand. How did you do that? Who are you? I've sent you into the past. The present, the future. I have manipulated time over and over again. No. Not who are you. What the hell are you? <laughs> what is this? And what is it doing here? I don't know what you're talking about. Drop the act, Colonel. That's even your real name. I've been upstairs, I've been in that room, and I know what this is. You're not even a Colonel, are you? Of course I'm a Colonel. This is my empire. How dare you oppose me? You're not a Colonel. You're not even a dictator. I know where I am. I've been here before. Sign on the door. Keep out. Please, Mr. the guy manners. We were sent into the future, into 2020, where Doctor Who didn't even exist. We never even came into contact with our future selves. And yet when we went back into 2013, we were face to face with our past selves. We never saw our future selves, and I think I know why. You're not a colonel. You're not a dictator. You're James from the future. And this, this is 2023. After me and James left, how long was it before I came back here? A week? A month? A year? No! No! I'm not. I. I'm. Colonel Alistair Wilson! I'm a colonel! I'm a colonel! What happened to you? Why are you like this? I lost everything. Television had fallen. You should know from when you were here. Society had fallen apart. That video ending the channel. That was me. So, if, if you're James from the future, then where am I? I lost you. Not long after we uh, ended the channel. We both got admitted to a hospital. Everyone lost their grip on reality. And um, we both got sent away. And within three months, you were gone. So why imprison me then? Because I lost you. You were my best friend in the whole world, the whole universe. And 
I never told you that because we were too busy insulting each other to realise it, but there was no other guy in the universe that was my best friend. So I lost it. I lost my grip on reality and I created a world of my own, but it still wasn't convincing enough. And then when you turned up out of the blue, out of nowhere, it, I had suddenly got my best friend back. That's why. So, so the, the posters and the, the people, the messages, this was all to convince me that this was all real? None of this was real. for you. I lost you. I lost everything. Look at me. I was prodded and probed by mental health specialists. They gave me back this house. They thought it would help me to live out this Colonel Wilson fantasy all on my own. They thought it would help me Help me to get better. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Well, you bloody fucked that up. Didn't you? I ain't come here by choice. Do you think I wanted to come here? All the torture I've been through. The starvation. All because of you. The last few months of my life have all been a lie. Because of you. I'm done talking to you. Oh. Sit down, will you? You're making it more awkward than it already is. I lost a friend as well, you know. Really? Yeah. We both got wished off into this adventure. We both left our normal time the same and when we arrived in a different universe we weren't. And he changed. He became, you could say, evil. And the last time I saw him, we weren't on good terms. I fell out with one James, I really don't want to fall out with another. What happened? You really, really wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Stranger things have happened, I guess. You're telling me. We, uh, got sent into our past. One year into our past, and to cut a long story short, he tried to change our past and alternate our future. I was against it, but he stood his ground, changed him. And I still think I was wrong, but I wasn't. I was right, he was wrong. I just hope he's not suffering the consequences for it right now. I thought I was fucked up. Seems your James is just as much so. I think we can just come to the conclusion that all James in any reality are all a bit fucked up. <sighs> Look, I don't think what James did was that bad. Uh, okay, okay, it was pretty bad. A little bit. But I lost my version of you. I, I would hate for James to do the same. From what I can see, in any universe, in any reality, James needs someone to steer him along the right path. I've lost my best friend. I've lost the person that was steering me in the right direction. And I lost 
everything else as well, my family, everyone I love. I'm determined for this reality to not leak into yours. He's your best friend, Matthew, whether you like it or not, and I know you don't like it. <laughs> can't escape you, can I? Nope. And you know what, deep down, I don't, I don't even think you want to try. <clears throat> What's wrong? Uh, you alright? Yeah, yeah, fine, just... Um, feel a bit strange. You're not gonna throw up all over my leg? Um, no. No, I'm not gonna. I hope not. Oh! oh. oh. Come Your version of James. You've got to find him and you've got to save him as quickly as possible. Oh. It's getting stronger. It's getting more powerful. And it's bleeding into other realities. It's going to start affecting all James, this all version of James, from all realities. What is oh. the thing that brought you and James here? The thing that brought you both on all these adventures? What? What is getting stronger? Tell me! Oh. I've been waiting years for you two, and you certainly made me wait a very long time, didn't you? I knew it. All this time I knew. You're the time stone. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. We have a winner. Took you long enough. A whole five seconds. You took us to 2020. 2013. And now, here. Why? What is the moral lesson behind this? So you must think this is the typical villain cliché where I tell you all my plans and you try and figure out a way to stop me. I don't think. You're right. You don't think. Oh, God. Get up. Matthew? James? <sighs> Matthew. <sighs> What's wrong? You look like you just saw a ghost. I just... I just saw James. My... my James. <sighs> this is slowly reaching its conclusion. Oh. Oh. <sighs> you, you bastard. Oh. Oh. What is it taking a bit out of you, Stormy? <sighs> oh my god. It's you. You're the thing that's been keeping me and Matthew apart all this time. And you're the connection. You're the thing that can bring me and Matthew back home to our own universe. <clears throat> Stay away from me. You can mould anything you please. You can change the past, the present and the future. Anything throughout me and Matthew's timeline. But there's only one way to destroy a timeline. Paradox. <laughs> so, how have you been? I've been fine. Yeah. It's, uh, good. 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 How about you? Uh, good. Good. Uh, missed the shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've changed yours? Yes. Don't like it. Oh, you never do. No. Anyway, where have you been? Oh, I've uh, just been back to the universe where Doctor Who never existed. Oh! Back in the universe where Stephen Moffat was the Doctor. Ah! And I've been getting tortured by an evil dictator that looks a hell of a lot like you. Oh, right. right. It's been quite eventful. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Oh, I've uh, been stuck in a five second universe uh, with a figment of my own imagination. Um, you know, I'm going slowly insane, and it turned out that that figment of my imagination turned out to be the time storm, the one that's been sending us on all of these adventures to 2020 and 2013. Oh, nice, interesting. Yeah. How is the time storm, though? Oh, he's a bit of a prick. You know, oh. he's, he's hell bent on uh, on destroying your Alex reviews, yeah. so, as you do. You yeah. know, we're quite annoying at times. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can see where he's come from. Must be a nice, very handsome bloke, though. No, he looks like you. So he's a very handsome bloke? No, not really. Because I guess if I was to, you know, be the yeah. time storm and choose no. a, a body to take over the universe, I'd sort of no. pick myself. Oh, fuck it. <sighs> so, uh, where are we? What is this place? How has this all even happened? Well, we, we, you remember, don't you? I mean, we watched the wedding of River Song, we slammed it, and then we got sent into a universe. Yeah, you can stop now. I was never that bit. Oh, right, yes. Anyway, so, uh, I came into physical contact with the time storm, and once I did that, you and me then got scattered into each other's time stream. While we're here, our past, present, and future is completely in flux, so we can change whatever we like. Okay. But don't you go changing our past again! Oh, don't worry, I won't. But we don't have much time, okay? I was only managed to weaken the time storm for a little bit, but it's getting stronger. So we have to find something to weaken the time storm enough for us to blast us back into our own universe. But we need some sort of paradox. Is there anything from your universe that you were in that is related to me that can cause that paradox? Uh, I don't think there is. Anything that looks or resembles you in my universe. No. Yes. <sighs> Matthew, what the hell is going on? Are you okay, Colonel? Listen, I need your help. You can help me get back to my universe and get back to my version of James. All I need you to do is come in contact with him, cause a paradox, and poof, I'm back home. So, um, you can go home. Yes. With your help, I can leave this place and get back to my universe! That's good. Good for you, Matthew, but... What happens to me, hmm? When you're gone and back in your universe, all hunky-dory, what happens to Colonel Wilson? Hmm? Well, it'll change James's past. This whole future will never have happened, and you... You... You won't have existed. And I'll die. Well, not exactly. This whole universe will just... Well, it'll cease to have ever existed. That's all. What's the difference? What's the difference between dying and ceasing to exist? They're basically the same thing, just different ways of saying it, that's all. Why? Why should I have to save your skin? Why should I have to sacrifice my own life for you? You're not even my best friend! You're someone else's best friend! Some other idiot's best mate! You're not mine! Why should I stick my neck out and kill myself, basically, for someone who I don't even know? You're wrong. Because it is me. And I am your best friend. I'm not the one you lost, but I'm still the same person, but from the past. Please, this isn't a universe fit for anybody to live in. You've got no friends, no family, you're all by yourself, and now your made-up universe is gone. By doing this, you're not just saving me. You're saving yourself. What do I have to do? Well. Any moment now, James is going to come into contact with the Time Storm. We'll appear in our time stream. We'll need you and James to come together. Paradox. Both universes break down, this one and the universe he's in. The Time Storm is weakened. And we return home. You always were a very convincing son of a bitch, weren't you, Matthew? Screw it. What else have I got to live for, eh? Let's do it. You're not going to get away with that again. Oh, yes. The loop is breaking. 
Time is beginning again. Losing your grip, are we, Stormy? Matthew, you'd better be prepared for this. I'm only gonna get one shot. Make it count. Come on, then. You better be right about this. He must really be your best mate for you to do this. Yeah. Oh, come on! One final trip, eh? Oh, yeah. Ready? Prepare the paradox! Come on! Are you ready? Hell no! Good! Is that the one? Let's do it! Yes! Back in my own universe. Oh, oh my god. Time's moving. Time's moving! No, 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 James, because that is how it all started. Now, I could have sworn I'm missing something. Someone. Matthew? Math? Oh. James, oh. oh, you are kidding me. I'm half a mile away. I'm half a oh, Matthew! Matthew! Did you really think I'd let it be that easy for you and Matthew to come together again? Because I had just enough power to divert Matthew away from here. So he's gonna be a while. Well, not the first time one man has had to go up against a seemingly unstoppable force. Oh, I've reached my peak power once again, and now I'm able to manipulate time once more. What do you mean, um, manipulate time? Remember when you were ten, James, and you were playing in a park? You were swinging and climbing on a tree. You lost your grip, and you fell. What happened next, James? Well, my granddad caught me. He woke up from falling asleep, just in time to look outside and see me climbing up the tree. That's not how I remember it, James. Because in my version of reality, your granddad didn't wake up. You fell, and you broke both your legs. See what I'm capable of now, James? I can mold the past, the present, and the future without even clicking my fingers. I can stop people from ever meeting, events from ever happening, people from ever being loved. I'm not just the end of you. I'm not just the end of Matthew. I'm not just the end of this whole universe. I am the end of who addicts reviews. You and Matthew carry ourselves with such pride in what you've achieved. When you both speak into that camera, you both feel so special. You make videos to validate your own self-worth, your own existence. But imagine if... Imagine if you never made the channel at all. Stop! I'm only just getting started. I've not felt this good in a very, very long time. Breaking your legs with one thing. <laughs> yeah. Making the channel never exist. 
I'll do nothing. What if I made sure that you and Matthew never met at all? I am the teacher of the universe. You are nothing. You are a tiny blip on a very small planet in a very, very small universe. Me! I am this entire universe and this, this is where I end you. One thing that you need to learn, it's that you don't mess with who Alex reviews. Now we shall unite! That is absolutely brilliant timing. I mean, that very second that I had just said, we shall unite. Oh, really? Well, that's yeah. quite good, you know? Yeah! I've had a long journey here. I had to jog oh. from half a mile away. And oh. I had to stop off for a drink as well. You stopped off for a drink when I was probably going to die. I was very, very thirsty. Fair enough. Anyway, hello. Where were we? Oh. Hello. Oh. If I was going to become a being that had control over the entire universe, I had to pick the greatest looking form ever, I'd pick me as well. Matthew, this is no time for flirting. And that didn't even make any sense. Sorry. Are you both done squabbling? No, no, not really. But in all seriousness, you're the time storm. I've waited a very, very long time to finally meet you. Although I never thought you'd be me. Yeah, he's got a bad taste in faces. Anyway, so... Enough! You two being together. Who cares? You're both going to die anyway. What's this going to achieve? I'm still the teacher of the universe. I still have all of my power. I can split both of you up back to separate universes like that. Well, Matthew, don't you think it's time that we uh, reveal our very clever plan? Oh, yes. Plan? What plan? When James got into contact with you before, and he went into our time stream, he wasn't just in contact with me. No, 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 no. He was in contact with all of me, and all of him, in fact. We could go back and see any of us, past, present or future. And we happened to just have enough time to go back to when it all started. Even the name of the episode was left redundant. I agree. I mean, not even Matt could have saved that episode, and he's brilliant. Sometimes Doctor Who is just... <sighs> Stop this wedding of River Song now! Really? Oh, of all the times she would choose a reference, and that wasn't even a good one. Well, I was... Yeah, James, just don't, just, just don't. Oh, so your references are pretty good, are they? My references are being on point, actually. <laughs> Stand there, be quiet, I'll sort this. Okay, just... Anyway, you two, listen, there's always going to be bad episodes in Doctor Who. Even great episodes have bad parts in it. But there's one thing that both of you have got to learn. Doctor Who, yes, it's frustrating at times. Yes, we can pull our hair out at some of Moffat's story acts. But the one lesson that I've learned through all of this, we're Whovians. 
Doctor Who is awesome. Have you got that? Yes. So shut the fuck up and do as I say. So don't you fucking dare say what you're about to say. Don't even say the next thing that you were about to say before we came in. Because I swear to God, if you do, I swear to God, I will come back and I will freaking rip your hair out. And I have no problem ripping my own hair out. Well, technically, you, you both... I don't care! In the future, he gets a bit mood swings. Yeah. Matthew, come on, we've got to go. I can't keep hold of the time storm much longer. Okay, lads, listen to me. James, stay magnificent. And Matthew, you stay handsome. <laughs> what the hell was that? I think that was us from the future. Yeah, I kind of got that one. Well, it must be us from the future because there's one really fat one and then one dashingly handsome one, so... Matthew, don't put yourself down. You're not that far. Well, Doctor Who is just brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Rule one about being a Whovian, like the Doctor, use his enemy's power against him. All these times you've been rewriting our past. It's about time we rewrote yours. What? <coughs> what? How are you doing this? <coughs> How? Is this possible? <coughs> you said it yourself, bitch. I'm James Wilson. I'm Matthew Rowney. And we are Who Are Dicks Reviews! No, no, you can't be. It's not possible. No, please. <coughs> gone. Yeah. We've done it. We actually did it. <laughs> the time storm's gone. The time storm's gone. Oh. Oh. Actually, I'm actually quite bored now. Yeah, so am I. Mm. Mm. Well. It's the 24th of May, 2015. No time posters in sight. No past selves to be seen. No malicious dictators that look like me. No time storm looking like me in a shirt. Oh, I've missed Middlesbrough. So have I. <sighs> Wanna watch series then? Yeah. Talk about anticlimactic. Two films, two promos, we had to wait a whole year, and that's it. I mean, I get the ending was a bit timey wimey and so forth, but honestly. Ugh. I mean, I guess it's better than the first one, but the first one didn't even have the Doctor in it, and he's an important part of that show. Wait, is he? Something who? Something. Doctor Who, yeah, he's an important part of the thing that this is based on. 
<sighs> I mean, what was that for an ending? Just had boring four characters. Wait, four, five, four, four or five characters. I was paying attention. <sighs> I mean, what it should have been, like Owen Salmon says, is all the hermits coming in and defeating the bad guys, but no, instead we get this. Ugh, honestly. I mean, even Amber's be ending was better. And that was just them making out. <sighs> Speaking of Amber, I mean, why is Amber and Tom even in this? I mean, why is Tom the Doctor? I mean, it's not as if he's part of some long-running audio series with many fans that, you know, would make sense to cast him as a Doctor. No, I bet they just picked him out at random. I bet he's got a YouTube channel somewhere with way more subscribers than Huidix, and that's why they picked him. <sighs> Unlike them, I would never ever demean myself by starring in something like this just to get more subscribers for my channel, Team Drew. <sighs> Makes me sick. <sighs>